So, what's up guys, how do you do? Welcome to Nation Program Users TV. In this class, we're going to see how to install or how to use React from a CDN, okay? CDN, of course, stands for the Content Delivery Network. In one of our tutorials, we'd actually covered the previous tutorial, in fact, we covered how to install React locally, okay? Now, this is an alternative whereby instead of s installing React locally, if you have internet connection, you can basically use a CDN. So, this is what we're going to do in this particular class. If you want to watch how to install it locally, then check our last tutorial. Well, of course, first, it React is actually a JavaScript library for building user interfaces. It was built by Facebook, okay, and currently is actually one of the most popular libraries. So, it allows us to create, of course, interactive applications in a painless manner, okay. Now, given that as uh, a library, React is actually declarative in nature. So, with React, we simply design, of course, our views, that is, our user interface views for every state, and then React can update and render the right components, okay, when our data changes. So, that, of course, is one of the things that makes React very efficient. Uh, its ability to just update and also render only the components that have been affected, okay? So, being declarative also makes React, makes the code that we write, uh, write in React more predictable, hence more easy, hence easier to debug. So, React also, of course, allows to create component-based applications. This is also one of the properties of React. It's a component-based library. So, we basically build encapsulated components and these components do manage their own state, okay? Now, once we build all these components, we can then compose them together to make a complex user interface. So, yeah, that is it, okay? Now, the logic for these particular components, we write them in JavaScript. Now, this example right here, what we want to do is to create a simple example, and then our a simple React example, and of course use the CDN so in in fact we're not even installing anything we're just using react from the CDN okay content delivery network so what we're going to do is very simple I'll expect you guys to create your project clearly you can see I have this folder uh, right here you call it the CDN inside it I have the JS folder okay so you can clearly see I have index.html as well as the index.js those are the only two things you need so first we're going to start with the index.html so right here the first thing is that we specify the doc type html then of course our html tag we open it then the header tag we specify the meta the car set then the title okay then of course we're going to open and close the body inside it take note right here we have this particular div tag with the id root where we're going to reference it from our javascript then all we need to do is to come and then uh, reference the react right here okay so you can see this is the url for the react library okay so yeah this is the url right here react development .js. then we go ahead add also the uh, link for the react dom so react as well as the react dom so we add them right there then of course lastly we're going to add the index.js which is located inside our js folder and we're going to move to that index.js right now so here we come to the index.js the first thing is that we're going to create let's come right here we're going to create a function that will return for our spaceship you can see it's taking in a spaceship object then of course it returns for us the details the name the propellant as well as the destination okay so this right here is our function is going to return for us the spaceship details well then we come create the spaceship object so the spaceship then of course the name is right here columbia then of course the propellant right here we have it then of course the destination we also have it right there well we'll come now and then of course once we have that one we're going to come create an element so our element equal to react that create element then we come right here h1 okay then you can see the spaceship then show spaceship 
router so this is going to create for us an html element that will be h1 html element that will be rendered of course in our virtual dom so we come and then render the element then we come right here, react dom is what we use we call the render method we pass in the element and then we come right here pass in document get element by id then root so we're basically referencing the root div from our html now it's important to note that in this case we've not used the jsx syntax instead we've programmatically created of course an html a dom element using the create element method now in one of the next classes probably the next one we're going to see how we can use the jsx syntax to with this same same tutorial okay to use the jsx syntax so this is it guys this is router what we've looked at okay so all we're going to do now so to run the project all we need just make sure you have your internet connection on then you come and then just run the html file so i'm going to open it with my default browser okay this is what i'm getting first i can see i'm having undefined okay so this should not be first name instead it should be name so we're going to come right here name okay then we save and then we come and then refresh the browser so you can see right here our stuff is working perfectly we've actually seen how to work with react okay so that's it it's just i'm just going to copy this particular code and then bring it to our notes as a reference okay so i'll come right here first code then of course this is javascript so we're going to have it right there and then also have the html code right here so first code then html then i bring over the html then you're going to have them for reference right here so yeah that is it that is it right here that's of course how we work with react from a cdn and we've actually looked at a full example right here so go ahead subscribe to our channel program users tv like the video and share it and take care i'll catch you in the next class